Hey. So as a kid, I was always super blonde. Like you could see through my hair. I was so blonde. Um, and as time went on and I got older, my hair just naturally got darker until it settled on this uh, kind of light-ish mousy brown color. Uh, but I've always kind of, you know, wanted a little bit of that golden blondish tone back to my hair. So I've tried a whole bunch of different ways over the years in an attempt to do that. Um, but over the past little while, I've been intrigued by this one method in particular. Uh, I read some interesting uh, articles about it, and I also have watched a couple YouTube videos of other women trying this, but the videos that I saw, they were a little confusing to me. They weren't very um, definitive with the befores and the afters, and um, there wasn't a lot of information given about uh, the techniques used, how much sun exposure uh, these women had, etc. So curiosity got the better of me and I wanted to see if this method actually works. So with this method, um, you use two ingredients to lighten your hair naturally or bring out golden highlights in your hair. And those two ingredients are chamomile, and lemon juice. Now I don't normally um, suggest using lemon juice on your face or on any other part of your body, on your skin, because you know this is a concentrate and you can damage, potentially dry out and damage your skin by using lemon juice directly on your skin. But I'm very curious to see if this will actually work. So, what you do is you just- and these are the um, this is literally just a bag of chamomile. So you brew a strong tea out of the chamomile, uh, and then you add some lemon juice, dip your hair in it, or put it in a spray bottle, and dry it in the sun, and keep repeating this for X number of days or weeks or months or however long it takes, I guess. That's the part I'm unsure about. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to start seeing results, if I see any results at all. Um, and then your hair will be lighter and full of natural highlights. So what I have done, and I will show you um, how I actually make the solution, the mixture that I'm going to be um, applying onto my hair, but basically you mix, I mix a strong tea with this, add a little bit of this until it turns nice and cloudy, and um, put it in a spray bottle. I've already made some here, this is just in a old toner bottle that I've repurposed. I have added one other ingredient, so it's just these two ingredients, the chamomile and the lemon juice, and I have added one more ingredient, and that is glycerin. I have added a teaspoon or so of glycerin in an attempt to minimize um, some of the drying effects of putting lemon juice and tea on your head. So this is what I will be spraying on my all over my head and my hair for the next 30 days or as many for as many days as I can over the next 30 days and I will be you know exposing my hair and drying it in the sun as often as possible uh, there might be a day or two here and there where either other circumstances may prevent me from drying my hair in the sun it might be a cloudy or rainy day uh, I'll try and remember to let you guys know because I want this to be as informative as possible I will check back in with my results, uh, good or bad, in 30 days. The first day using this was technically yesterday, it was May 15th yesterday. So I will be using this hopefully every day until June 15th. Just so we've got a good idea of what my hair looks like right now, here it is in its natural state. I gave it a very mild washing 
last night and I have not done anything to it since. I didn't even add any extra conditioner. This is my hair just air dried. You can see that's quite a bit darker underneath here. It's kind of a medium brown. A similar color, maybe a little lighter on top. And um, I have used peroxide, like a weak peroxide mixture on it a couple times. So that is why the ends of my hair are lighter than um, the hair closer to my roots. This is my natural color up here. Hopefully this gives you guys a pretty good idea of what I'm working with. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a bunch of this onto my head presently. Today is technically the second day. I'm going to cover my face in sunscreen. I've already applied a different sunscreen onto my arms because I am going to be going out into the sun and I really don't feel like getting sunburned. And from here on, I'm just going to play a bunch of footage for you. I'm going to show you how I prepare this concoction. Um, and then uh, you get to watch a nice little montage of me putting it on my hair and sitting out in the sun for 30 days, give or take. I'm not sure yet. That's in the future. That hasn't happened yet. So, anyway, roll the footage. I really wish I had a better spray bottle. This one is a little tedious, but it's the best I got at the moment. I'm just gonna kind of scrunch the tea in there. As you can see, this is all very scientific. Okay, so I'm going to get my chamomile, and this is a loose leaf tea bag. So there it is. I'll just leave the the chamomile tea bag in there, let it hang out, cool down, and um, yeah. The tea should be cool enough by now. Um, it'll be hard for you guys to see, but I'm just squishing the tea bag against the side of the um, the mug, just to make sure I get all the uh, chamomile -y goodness. Now I'm going to remove that, dry off my hand, and probably switch you guys around because you can't see anything I'm doing. Here's my chamomile tea. 
I'm going to pour a little bit of this out into a different container uh, because I don't have enough room left in my mug right now, so one moment, please. Okay, there's a little more room in there now. So now I'm going to take my real lemon, lemon juice from Concentrate, give her a little shake, and I'm just going to... Squeeze a bunch of that in there. There you go. It's not an exact science. So now I am going to add some glycerine. There we go. There we go. give it a really good stir to make sure that the uh, glycerin is incorporated. Now I'm going to put it in my little spray bottle. I upgraded. Funnel. And I'm pretty sure this is going to make a mess. that simple. There you have it. My eyebrows are going through something, and I don't know what that something is. They're obviously angry at me for some reason, uh, but I have no idea what I've done to them. I haven't put any product in my eyebrows for like two weeks. I'm not happy about it. the sun somewhere up there behind all those clouds Okay, so this is going to be my last day of putting tea and lemon in my hair. It is Wednesday, June 23rd, so I've got a few extra days because of monsoon season, and uh, right now, about a week later, we're in the middle of a heat wave.
trusty, trusty straw hat. Here we go, one last time. Cheers. All right, it is the end of the experiment. Hope you enjoyed that montage. Um, like I mentioned, about three quarters of the way through uh, this experiment, a patch of really rainy weather hit us for a solid week or so. Um, it was really rainy and overcast and cold and just pretty not nice. Um, fast forward to now, and we're in the middle of like a catastrophic heat wave. Like the projected high for today is 37 degrees Celsius. And it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, I think around 40 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, um, but that's a lot of Fahrenheit's. I'm dripping, like my sweat is sweating right now, but <laughs> I'm just glad that um, I finished the experiment before the extreme hot weather because I don't know how I would have been able to handle it. Um, yeah. So, so here is my hair after 30 days of spraying chamomile and lemon in it and sitting out in the sun. I'm going to move over here so we can see a before and this is the after pretty much nothing happened um i'm gonna put my hair back up because it is very hot in here so what did we learn today um in my opinion it's not worth it. This might work if you did it consistently for like, I don't know, six months. But if you're going to claim something has a lightening effect on your hair, or even just brings out the highlights in your hair, it should be able to accomplish that in 30 days straight of use. Pretty much nothing has changed. If, if my hair has lightened at all, it's so marginal. Like, it's such a tiny amount that, like, I can't tell. I can't tell a difference. So basically, is it worth it? No, I would not suggest this to anyone. It's just, it's a, it's a colossal waste of time, in my opinion. It might work if you really want to do this several times a week for, like, months and months and months, up to years. But... At the end of the day, um, I wasted uh, one and a half to two hours every single day for over a month. Luckily, I found a hat with a wide brim that had a hole in the top, so my hair could still be exposed to the sunlight without exposing my face and my skin to the sun too much. So, in my opinion, this is a bust. If you want to try it, go for it. Um, um, it's just not worth it to me. I did not see any results from it, and in my opinion, you, you should, I should have seen something after 30 days. I should have seen something um, in order to consider this effective in any way, shape, or form. That, that, that's it. That's it. This is, this is a fail for me personally, but at least now I know my curiosity is satisfied. A little disappointing. I was hoping a little something would happen, but at least now I know. Anywho, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider giving it a big old thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. I can't see anything. Ah. Wow. Sexy. Uh. Alright, 
so. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna focus on this. I've just poured some into this bottle for the focus on the thing in front of you and not out there. Ay -ay -ay. It takes too long with the other one. And that's in the way. That's a spoon. Can you see that? Lovely. Here, you want some? 